This is Changsha Wan Station. Changsha Wan is an underground station located underneath Changsha Wan Road in Sham Shui Po, district on the Qinmen Line of Hong Kong MTR between Sham Shui Po and Lai Chi Kok. It was opened on 17th of May 1982. The station's color is yellow brown. It's actually more like an orange this. But down at the bottom in the platform, it is orange brown. It is yellow brown. The station was originally planned with the name So Uk, which is uh, the estate right back there. And the station is close to the Lei Chang Uk Han Tomb Museum, which also is back there. On 10th of May 1982, Chumon Line opened to the public. But Cheng Shawan Station did not open to the public until 17th of May, a week later. Now this is a very basic station with like nothing very special, so that's why it's a very short video for today. But I will explain a little bit of the nearby areas. We have Lai Cook Estate, which is for that exit over there. That one should be also that one should be exit B over there actually. And we have another exit here for Hipwo Primary School. This goes to that way, which is So Estate, and here's Un Chao Estate. And we also have another exit at the back, which is for Fat Chong Street and the other side over that way. Which I think that one is like near to the Trade Plaza and also Chang Shan Road Playground, which is over that way. Now we're into the station because there's not too much things to actually talk about for this station. Alright, just came down from exit A and this is the, the podium level, not down there yet. And I saw some of these very cool looking vase pictures, so that's why I started to film a little bit. There are no extra actually information about these things. Just gonna take a look at them, that's all. Some Chinese Chinese style paintings. I don't think they're painted, they're just pictures, but uh, it's just looking looks cool, so that's why I just decided to film it. All right, down to the plaf down to the concourse level, and uh, you can see it's a very basic station with the uh, brownish color. The decent amount of shops, which like every single MTL station. Yeah, literally, there's not a lot of things to talk about for the station. We look at the map for the station. There's only one lift in the middle of the platform for the platforms. Here's the exit, very basic. Which we just exit from A3, which leads to the Lei Cheng Uk Han 2 Museum. This way is to somewhere to Lam Chong Station. Fu Chong Station is right outside of Nam Chong Station. With B actually for Fortune Estate. Probably that one that I just saw earlier on is actually C2 for Hipwo Primary School and stuff. Very basic station, it's not even that huge, so. walk around the station a little bit just to <laughs> like explore the whole thing it's like not very special oh gosh so we have the customer service center here the one and only lift inside the middle of the platform and on the other side is the uh, other exits which leads to fortune estate and uh, oh C is also on this side so I guess that's not really oh C is the one to go to Cheng Sha Wan playground and Cheng Sha Wan sports center all of those are A back there, so for sure. Actually, what the hell? I just saw this. There's a Hansang Bank right there, Hansang Bank, which is a, one of the local banks here in Hong Kong, Hansang Bank. There's actually another one back there. What's the point of having two of them? They were just having ATMs. <laughs> What's the point of having two Hansang Bank ATM spots inside one random station in the middle of the line? Anyways, enter station time. Made it our way down to the platform, very basic island platform which have tracks on both sides. One to Chinmuan and one to Central. I actually went the wrong way. Damn. <laughs> it's actually the end of the Chinmuan platform. But anyways, we walk across the platform, you see how basic this is. Nothing special with this. With the yellow brown structure well, library of the station, which just makes the whole station looks even older. So <laughs> not joking. So that's why. Well, 
basically that explains the, the everything of Chunshan Station. You can see everything already, how the station looks like and where it's located, and some of the history. But the history is not really that rich because not a lot of things happened in Chunshan Station. So that's why, considering this station is so basic with like nothing special with it and the uh, not that great choice of color, I'm gonna give Chunshan Station the average score of 2.5 out of 5. Now, let's spot some trains.